Indiana ranks again number one in the nation for something that no one wants to be known for. We have more pharmacy robberies than any other state. Thieves are getting away with hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of drugs, and they're threatening people's lives in the process. Our Eyewitness News reporter Rich Van Wyk has the numbers that authorities call scary. In three and a half years, thieves hit Indiana pharmacies almost 370 times, sometimes robbing the same pharmacy numerous times. The vast majority of the robberies occurred in Marion County, 132 of them last year, more than the entire state of California. It's still totally unacceptable, and to lead the country is astounding. Senator Merritt is on the governor's task force on drug enforcement, treatment, and prevention. I think we're still in a, in a uh, scourge. Um, uh, from pain pills and from the epidemic from opioids. Data gathered for the task force found oxycodone and hydrocodone are the most stolen drugs. Indianapolis police say most of these aren't addicts. They are dealers or juveniles hired to commit the crime. Less than two minutes after leaving the store, police say that thief can put the drugs in a waiting car. The car goes one way, they go another. They've even figured out ways to thwart electronic tracking devices put in the drug packages. Some pharmacies hired security guards. Many installed special safes, denying pharmacists quick access to the drugs. As a result of those changes and arrests, the number of robberies has dropped by more than half this year. New tamper-resistant pills and other drugs will make them more difficult for thieves to remanufacture. Once you smash it up, it just becomes a gel. Nephrex is a, is a cold medicine that's tamper-resistant where you can't make meth out of it. Making the drugs much less valuable to thieves. Rich Van Wyk, Channel 13 Eyewitness News. The state of Indiana is also finalizing new prescription guidelines aimed at reducing the risk of patients getting addicted to painkillers.